Hello guys, uh, this is Zach King, and I am bringing you another tutorial. This one was requested um, just the other day, in fact. <clears throat> um, basically, a while back, I had done a Hello World program for a Tkinter. So, basically, what I showed you was how to build a little window that has a button, and when you click it, it prints out a message um, uh, to, well, your terminal or... To your, your box down here if you're using sublime text editor like I am but anyway I'd like to continue that series um, due to this request and basically what I'm gonna do is show you guys each uh, or quite a bit of the widgets that come with tkinter which if you're not familiar with tkinter it is a the built-in um, the built-in GUI kind of module for Python it comes with your installation so if you just uh, start up Python, you can find it by, you know, importing tkinter. Now, I would like to say right now, if you're watching this video and you're going to be following along with the code and uh, doing it yourself, um, make sure you know which version of Python you're using. So if you open up your command prompt like I did, hit Windows Run, and type in CMD, um, on Windows, that is, that's how you do it. And, you know, you type in Python right here and it'll start the interpreter if you can't do that then just look up how to set up your path variable um, but anyway just launch python or idle or something and try you know make sure you know which version if you're using python 3 you're going to spell tkinter like so with all lowercase just tkinter um, and that's how you'll import that now, other modules you may see me use in future videos, which I will reiterate this um, on a needed basis. But other modules might include the the file dialog uh, module, which is inside tkinter, and then uh, another is the tkinter message box, and those are both inside tkinter. Now, this is for if you're using Python three. Uh, if you're using, say, um, Python 2, however, what you'll want to do is import tkinter with a capital T, and the rest is a lowercase, which is going to give me an error because I can't do that. Uh, now, if I ran like, uh, I have a custom command prompt here, so let me run Python 2.7, which is also installed on my computer. Now, so if you have a Python 2 version, you're going to import tkinter with a capital T and then your for the uh, two other modules I you know gave as examples those are tk and then file dialog with the being camel case so the f and the d are capitalized and tk message box with the m and the b capitalized and you can see those imported successfully so um, that's uh, how you do it for python 2 and as I said I will you know, I will make a note of that again in future videos if you need these uh, modules. However, for this video, which I've already spent some time um, talking in, I am going to show you guys just a super quick overview. And this m is, for the most part, repeating what I did in the last video. However, um, you know, this is just a stronger, I guess, foundation to start making videos after this. Now, uh, before I begin, I will note that I am going to be using Python 3, uh, 3.4 to be precise, but uh, keep that in mind as you view my code. So anyway, how do we get started with our uh, Python uh, applications that have a GUI? Well, the first thing you want to do is, of course, import tkinter. Now, I'm going to say from tkinter import all, that way I don't have to, um, you know, Prepend things like the button with tkinter dot button like so. I can just you know write button instead, and uh, it's so much easier. However, keep in mind that is kind of a issue with naming conventions or naming your variables and your other classes and stuff if you write them um, later on. But that's another issue. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write a main method. And um, this main method is going to basically have all my code for the app. Um, 
So how do we create a application or a window? Well, we just start off, give you, make a variable, and uh, set it equal to tk. It's just tk in parentheses because this is a object inside the tkinter module, and uh, this is actually going to create a window for you, just just like that. It's going to be super tiny and not contain anything in it, but that will create an application. Um, then, of course, we want to start the main loop. And then you can just call the main method, or you can use the um, professional way of doing so uh, with this specific if block. But uh, you can copy that if you want. But anyway, uh, I'm going to build this, and you should see there it is. We have a little window. As you see, it's pretty small. It doesn't have anything in it, and uh, and all that. So it's not useful whatsoever. So what this does is this line builds our app, and this line runs this loop that just continuously, you know, runs this program, um, the program of the TK object that is. And then whenever you click the X, such as up here, or you have some kind of button inside your application that closes it then it will just you know exit now for uh, just to show you guys if I build this uh, without the main loop let's see what happens in I right, so see in in this it won't actually even do anything now if I uh, ran it here you know I did root equals uh, TK. You'll see it actually makes the application right there. But um, I guess it the main loop is like a infinite loop. So what it does is it in this version it uh, creates it and it hits the end of this main function and then automatically just destroys everything with the garbage collector. So um, so that's why I guess you're not seeing it. But anyway, let's uncomment that. Now we want to do some stuff. We want to make our application, you know, actually useful. Uh, so first things first, I like to uh, set the title. So you can do this by calling the method on our root variable here. And I'm going to call this uh, my first tkinter app. You can call it whatever you like. And now we want to address the sizing of our application. And there's two functions you can do this with uh, min size and max size. And uh, you can supply the arguments width and height. Uh, I'm going to set my width for minimum equal to 300. And for height, I will also do 300. Then, as far as the max size, now if you don't want your user to be able to size it at all, then you can set the width and height uh, ex to the exact same amount for you know the minimum size and the maximum. However, I'm going to let my user uh, stretch it to 400 width and say 350 height, you know, to keep it fairly small. And uh, that is how you do that. Now we can uh, build this now and see we've got a title up here, my first tkinter app, and it's sized to the minimum at first. And I can drag it out a little bit, and uh, that's it. So I can close that now. And then the last thing I'm going to show you guys today uh, is how to make, you know, your first widget. And um, technically we've already done that. The main frame is considered a widget. But um, regardless, I'm going to make a variable here called button. And I'll call this button, uh, button, you know. But anyway, set it equal to this, this class. This is also inside the tkinter module. That's how I'm using it. And there's a few uh, parameters or arguments that you supply here. The first of which is what frame it is going in. Now, what I mean, what I mean by frame, uh, you'll see more specifically later. But uh, for now, just think of it as where do I want to put my button or my widget? And uh, we want this to go in the root frame, of course. So we're going to supply root as the first argument. And then we want to give it uh, some text because it is, after all, a button. So um, I'll just say, click me, because we want the user to uh, be drawn to it. And um, 
I believe I'm gonna I'm gonna actually give that the argument name text there. So text equals click me. Now we will, if we build this now, you know, you'll see it and you're like, where's my button? It's not there, you know. Um, so this is a common issue when you're making things at first with Tkinter. You'll forget to actually, um, I guess I don't know how to word this, but you'll forget to pack or grid it. You know, you'll see later. But um, for now, I'm going to show you the method pack. So all you have to do is call pack on your widget, and it will put it on the. Uh, you know, it'll actually put it on your app. So I built this now, and there's click me. You know, yeah, our button. So it's there. It's all good. You know, it does absolutely nothing. So what pack does? Pack is just a way of you know actually displaying your button and um, we'll see more about pack and another method called grid later on in um, my layout video that I'm going to be making so if uh, you want to change the this is the last thing if you want to change the width of your button so we can set that to like 280 then uh, see now it takes up just about the whole the, the entirety of, uh, of our application and you see now I can't, um, or I mean I can, if I, you know, if I resize it out width wise, it still takes up the whole um, screen. And you might say, well, you set it to 280 and the max width is 400, but it's still taking up the whole width. Well, that's because the width is not in um, pixels like our size up here is. The width for a button is the width in characters. So this is saying it can hold 280 characters. Our text here only takes up, let's see, six, seven, eight. It takes up eight characters. We don't need that many. So I'm gonna say 20. Let's see how that does. Okay, so it's a little wider. Let's try 40. All right, so now 40, you can see, it won't quite take up the whole width when I you know, maximize my uh, application. So you can play with the width. Uh, you can actually play with the height too if you want. Uh, so let's see, 50, so now it's like huge, it just takes up the whole screen. <laughs> uh, we can set it to like three, so you could have three lines of characters in this. Um, so like you could have a line up here, the line that it's on, then one below it. But uh, that's a pretty big button. You can use that to your advantage as far as how you want your buttons to look. Um, but yeah, that is about it for this video. I know it ran a little bit long uh, for a initial Tkinter, but um, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you learned a lot, and uh, rewatch the video if you need, and just to kind of process all the information. Um, but yeah, but look forward to more videos on the different Tkinter widgets. I'm going to be doing some on uh, text boxes, labels, radio buttons, check boxes. Um, you know, combo boxes, spinners, calendar things, you know, all kinds of cool stuff. And uh, just uh, keep an eye out for those videos. They're going to be fairly, fairly simple. They're not, you know, huge projects. So it's a good way to just, you know, put a, a chill kind of video in front of you and still, you know, be productive. So um, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed and if you would like to see more Tkinter videos. Uh, also, be sure to subscribe, and uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.